Efren Reyes had that extra pressure of knowing that a nation's hopes were on his shoulders as well as knowing that defeat against Radovla Babitska of Poland would almost certainly end his quest for glory. We join it with Babitska leading 5-4. So the stakes getting pretty high now. He's got to really find his A game in a hurry. I mean, if he were to drop another rack on his break, there may be no way back. No, and that is the problem with the alternate ten, breaks uh, break, format is that um, if Babika can convert all of his breaks, he's the winner. It's as simple as that. I know we're a long way off that yet, but there's a monster break there from Reyes, but not absolutely perfect. A bit of distance between the lowest ball remaining on the table, the three ball. And also a little bit of work to do to get on the four. This does need queuing well, which he does. That's marvellous. Made light work of a tricky situation. <laughs> T-shirt behind there, FM Race, with the words innovation and supreme quality. Three words that spring to mind when yeah. you're talking about Efren. Yeah. Sums up his uh, career pretty well, doesn't it? Just about enough. Mm. I think just about enough anyway. He's got to now draw this across to the right-hand side of the table. He, I'd say he's about a ball shy of being nice. So now, if you weren't to screw back well enough he could scratch in the middle pocket and he has got to be careful he'd like to get closer to this but he may not be able to hard to see from here no had to sacrifice getting close for avoiding the scratch shouldn't be a problem gonna come down the right hand side of the table I would imagine to get the pace roughly right this is just what he needed isn't it a nice good run of balls off the uh, off the break yeah, very dialed in some real focus in those eyes He's not playing with the crowd much at all in this match, is he? There's usually a few uh, little asides and stuff going on with the crowd, but not here. This man is playing for his uh, World Pool Championship future at the moment. Great break. Very unfortunate the green six was in the way. And the push out, he's pushed to a, a snooker. Asking the question, do you want to jump? And if you don't, I will. Reyes has only just been a convert, I believe, to the jump shot. I think he has a jump cue, I'm not absolutely sure. Here's the break off. Another quality break, planting that cue ball very nicely. It looked perfect until all of a sudden the six ball got in the way. Very unfortunate. Reyes puts Babika back in. Good thing from Reyes's point of view here is that the jump shot uh, would be very difficult to get position on the blue two. I suppose if he did pop the ball and leave the cue ball down the bottom of the table, there's the 2-9 combination. Speculative shot with a bit of safety involved, but that's looking too far ahead. This is tough enough. the ball's going to end up are they going to be favorable for Reyes don't know if he can see enough of it to pot it and he's also hampered 
by the six. But even so, he now has control of the table and you would expect Reyes to be able to manufacture something. Obviously, looking at this, you think, OK, just stun the cue ball behind the nine and the two. But that three and the four, you can see there, they're in the way, really. is not certain not certain how this is going to unfold here you, know, you just have to try and play and hope for the best as far as how the balls resolve themselves and a clever little clip there that's what he played and that's what he got <coughs> that's a monster safety that's very hard to get out of he, he 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 needs to get some skis on because the only way you get to that ball is a slalom i mean I think the only thing he can do is jump to hit the side of the ball. And it's just trusting to luck where these go after this. Most times you play the jump shot, you're really hoping to, that you can pot the ball. I mean, this, this is so close to impossible that there's an argument to, to play the deliberate foul just to mess the table up. No, no, you, you, can, you can jump it. It's OK. It's not a problem. It is a jumper, is it? Yeah, it's, it's, not a it's not a problem jumping it, but you can't jump and hit enough of the ball to control the cue ball. So you know, the, the balls are going to be flying around the table here and uh, every chance that Reyes will be given a, a shot. He's only saving grace is the three ball. Slightly tied up with the eight. Well, he hit as much of that as he could and that was an excellent effort. He split the balls apart, but he's going to be delighted with the outcome of this, and it's given Reyes a massive headache as well. <laughs> and he's broken up that cluster as well. Well, this is a tough shot. I think... Well, I don't know what I think. All he can probably do is just to try and just clip it and send it up the rail, but he... I don't, know, I don't even know if he can do that. Oh! He can do that instead. Well, that looked a lot. <laughs> well, I thought that was tight on the cushion. I didn't think that was possible. Amazing. Because obviously it was never in doubt that he could pot it. Well, let's, 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 let's be honest, Steve. He made it look very easy, and there was nothing easy about that shot. Well, perhaps it was. But it just it didn't look it. On, on, it looked like the ball had gone tight to the rail there, and, and that would have been impossible. Well, that was cheeky. <laughs> the only way he could guarantee making the 3-8 combination was if he stayed close to the ball so he played the bank shot instead of potting it and sending the cue ball around the table marvellous attempt here knocking the nine towards the pocket as well here I think yes doing just that <coughs> you won't play any type of combination on the nine obviously You'll just run the rack Position on the uh, the pink four. Well, very important time to win a rack against the break. Yeah, very similar to the yeah. serve at tennis. This mm. this format has become. It's like effectively like a, a two rack swing when it mm. happens. Yes, with uh, eight being the magic number. This will do uh, Efren Reyes' cause a power of good. <laughs> That's not the best place to be. No, it's really the it? only place where it's half a problem. But he looks zoned in now. Looks a different player now, doesn't he? It looks uh, somewhere he refocused in this match. Because he really seemed to be fighting the table, but... It's not flowing and coming easy for him, but... He is getting the job done. 
with a little bit more authority now. Had a little bit of body movement after the shot there. Wasn't too happy with that, but it's home and dry now. The crowd very appreciative. The hero goes in front. You can go through with one win and two losses, but uh, you're asking for an awful lot of things to happen for you to get away with that. So both these fellows walked into this afternoon's match knowing victory was absolutely essential. It looks like Reyes is the man that's put himself in position to claim that win. But as we've seen in other matches, you never quite relax until that last nine ball goes down, and he's certainly not relaxed here. He's not a happy bunny as far as the outcome of the cue ball and the one ball. It's a bit of a stretch yeah, with for that, any player. With that brown tucked in Ooh, there as well. Left-handed. Oh, awful. Well, the, the rest, or whatever it is that uh, is now being brought out of the table, has a variety of different grooves in it. And this is the groove of choice. Tough shot. Bigger balls than snooker balls. You've got to jack up even higher. He'll be happy with that. Yeah, he's in the groove. No position as far as making the two, but there are combination possibilities. <clears throat> Soft two to eight. Just making sure that two stays over the pocket. That's probably what he's going to do. Oh, has it gone to the point? Has he got enough? That's a great shot. He's got enough on the on the two. Marvellous. Couldn't have played it much better, could he? Well. And, and now the rack is starting to look very simple. Sorry to interrupt you there, Steve. That was not anything particularly exciting anyway. Don't worry about that. <laughs> oh, that was an excellent shot. That really was a good shot. Taking his time, <clears throat> not rushing this clearance. It's a very important stage of the match. And even though under any type of normal circumstances, this would be a formality. He's just going to try and get it set in his brain, the route around the table for these six balls. Well, he really is taking his time, and rightly so. You can't afford any more slips at uh, at this point of the match. And it's uh, Radoslav Bobitska now that's uh, staring bleakly into the abyss, knowing that his World Championship match might be uh, going up in smoke here. And oh, that's not a happy place to be. It isn't, especially as there's <clears throat> no prize money for last in your group, as far as I'm aware. No, you get, I think it's $1,000 for coming third, and you get absolutely nothing for, for turning up. Just get a round of applause, that's yeah. about it, I think, as you what, leave the building. What would you take, a round of applause or $1,000? <laughs> well, I suppose you've got so much money, Steve, you just, you'll take the applause. <laughs> I'll have to think about that. <laughs> At the critical time of the match, Reyes comes good. And this fella can only sit and watch. Reyes takes one step nearer his first win at the World Pool Championship. He is on the hill. Babitska breaks next just to stay alive. Reyes nearly there. This fella nearly on the way back to the airport. Of course, even if Reyes were to win his last match, and let's say he won this match and then won his last match, it wouldn't be certain that he'd qualify either because there would be the possibilities of 
three Rugby players all on winning two wins. So it, it could even come down to rack difference here. So how tough are these matches, these yeah. league groups to get through? Which is why Reyes would be so pleased to at least got eight seven against Tony Crosby because that would stack the uh, the tiebreaker in his favour, and it would also mean he'd want to get rid of this fella as quickly as possible. And he nearly scratched, and that really would have been lights out for Bobitska. Well, he's got to be happy with the way these have split. Oh, he was that close to losing. Does break well though. I know he lost the white ball a bit there, but it's a it's a pretty effective break. There is really no problems in this break apart from getting good position on the five seven combination. So that getting the right angle on the four to get on the five is the problem. But it shouldn't be too much of a problem. That was a bit more difficult than I thought as well. I didn't think it was that far off. I thought it was straighter than that, so once again, I'm claiming camera angle. <laughs> <laughs> they are deceptive, aren't they, these camera angles? Uh, as, as we've seen before, though, the only angle that counts is, is that look straight down the queue. The, every angle that uh, the, the TV cameras offer, they can be deceptive. Like that one on the rail that uh, Reyes made look so easy that we both thought was absolutely impossible. <clears throat> so now, <clears throat> a headache in as much as keeping position on the four ball. He can cut this red three into the left-hand pocket, knowing if he missed, obviously, he would probably snook a Reyes, but he's got to retain position on the four. Doesn't want to sacrifice the table over to Reyes again. So a bit of a problem here. He hasn't quite worked out <coughs> how he's going to play this shot. He's changed his mind now. He's playing a safety, I think. I think. Well, he did miss. <coughs> and he's got the snooker. I think the right shot there to play the safety. Um, he could have panicked, potted the three, lost position on the four, and would have had to have played safe anyway. And, he, and it wouldn't have been as easy a safety shot as the one he's just played. So, good percentage choice there from Radislav Babika, fighting for his continuation in this World Ball Championship. For the first time in Manila, in its current format, don't know the history of pool going back over the years of where the wall, world pool championship has been before no. the likes of matchroom sport took over no. the running of it it wouldn't be a surprise if it's been here it, it is a pool mad country isn't it they are very Crazy. passionate yeah. about it yeah. everybody knows the pool players everybody well <laughs> most people <laughs> any any time you're number one on the sports pages, you know it's big time. Brilliant escape from Reyes. OK, you can't always guarantee that you're going to snook your opponent, but Reyes made sure that he left the ball safe. And once again, it's not easy to see but I think that's probably a four ball snooker or as good as. And if it is, he's staring a loss in the face. If he can't clip this three ball and get it safe, he could be one shot away from oblivion. Is he jumping? Is he swerving? I think he's swerving fractionally. Tough shot to control. He's got to get down the table behind those three balls. He had to go up for rail. Uh -oh, and here's the uh -oh. chance. Yeah, and I think these fans. The crowd clapping, not yeah. the escape, clapping the positional play that they see has opened up for Reyes. And now this is a chance you would expect him to grasp with both hands. 
and a noticeable buzz of expectation around this table. This could be the moment Efren Reyes finally gets his World Pool Championship challenge together. Babika knows it. But still the problem, getting perfect position. And Reyes is summing up every angle there to see which is the best way. I think that last one he looked at was quite nice. If he keeps to the left-hand rail, he can make the seven and use the six to break the path of the cue ball. So he's coming quite a way over. That's exactly where he wanted it. That is absolutely perfect. I know it seems a little bit out. OK, right, a ball out, you know. But now in playing this, a bit of stun on the cue ball. He's going to line up lovely on the five. All right, he's not happy with it, so I'm talking rubbish. <laughs> well, I thought it was OK. He'll probably make it look OK, knowing him. Ooh, oh. That's why he's... Oh! But he's oh. Oh. oh! Oh, no! I don't believe he missed it. I thought that was a. I thought it was a given shot anyway. I, I, I really didn't think it was that much of a problem. I know these are slightly tighter pockets than we've had in previous years, but I still thought it was on. Wow. Well, this is extraordinary, and this is why he was so grumpy about it. And he almost <laughs> fluked it. But look at that. Two pockets that wouldn't claim a ball, and uh, Babichka thrown on lifeline. Well, he's just got to cut the, the five thin and knock the seven in. I don't really... It's a very thin cut, but he's, he's got to play it that way. I, don't, I really don't think the, the cannon is the right shot. Well, I don't like this, but anyway, go for it. This could go wrong. The other way, you can't go... The other way, you can't fail. This, this can go wrong. Well, if it does go wrong, it's the end of the match. This is... This is this is has an element of danger. The other way, I can't believe he can't cut this five onto the seven. It's not. It's thin, but it's not that thin. Well, he's got away with it. But it can go wrong if he can't pop the five mm. in the in the corner. You know, you know, okay, yeah, he's on it, but it's, it's probably not as easy as it looks on our television screens. No, it's I a wouldn't, thin cut. You wouldn't want to be taking this one on with your uh, hopes hanging by a very thin thread. Probably not as thin as the five to the seven, the shot that perhaps he should have played, but... applause there because these fans were getting ready to raise the roof weren't they and, and they've been denied or at least a stay of execution for this man another shock for Reyes looking like he was home and dry once again and and coming into this tournament he was such an overwhelming favorite oh, this isn't the easiest nine ball that you've ever seen Reyes to break. It is Reyes to break, assuming this nine goes down. Which it does. He's still hanging on. Somehow. But I'm sure he was resigned to packing his bags there, Radislav Babitska. Instead, Reyes wasn't able to seal the deal. Do we go to another Hill Hill match for the Magician? Or will Efren Reyes finally get to eight when he comes up to break in just a moment? And everything this, including that one, the seven that wouldn't go, nobody could believe it. But he still has his destiny in his hands here. One good break. 14, Efren Reyes to break, leading by seven racks to six. One good clean up, and it'll all be over. Sounds so easy, doesn't it? But uh, very rarely does a rack of nine ball go, go like that. Oh, marvellous. He gave those a great whack. Technical term.
And he's got a good look at the blue two as well. Not much he'd uh, complain about with that rack. No, he can't complain, although it's got to be made, this blue two. It is missable. Oh! A tremendous amount of body movement on the shot there. He was up and away from the shot before he'd even played it. That was, well, tension. You see that again? He's moving up on the shot as he plays it. Just that makes it a lot harder to play the game. There's a lot of pool left in this match, but if that mistakes, mistake lets Babika in to clean up, it's the pole who breaks for the match next. That's how expensive that miss could be. I'd like to predict this won't, that won't be the last miss of the match. No. See how accurate I am. I'm not putting any money down against you, Steve. This one is, is fraught with nerviness, <laughs> if there's such a word. Oh, it's, it's got to be now. <laughs> there must be. Well, it's fascinating. It was a fascinating match. Efren's last match. Unfortunately, when the greats fail, it becomes fascinating. Mm. Even when they struggle, as he has here. And, and the real worry for the Efren Reyes watchers he struggled against Tony Crosby because for most of that match, Tony was in great form, made all his shots. This fella hasn't been making all his shots. No, it's a nail biter. That's a very good shot, and that has opened the path up nicely. Excellent. The best shots that Babik has played it really has made this a lot easier, and Reyes is just. He's like, I just, just can't believe it. I think he's laughing at the, the situation that's occurred. You know, he's just not been able to get a grasp on his first match. Should have put this one away, and all of a sudden, he's leaving it so late that trusting to luck, surely Reyes won't go out. Okay, there's some other great Filipinos in the tournament, but. This guy's the hero. Well, there are still all kinds of scenarios to open up here in Group 2, but let's just say for the sake of argument that Reyes did lose here. Obviously, his destiny is out of his hands, but he could still get through. He would have to hope that Tony Crosby wins out in his two remaining matches, and then Reyes would have to win his last match. By a massive scoreline to overcome the Indonesian who had a, a very easy win over Babika. Yeah. It's, it's, it's well out of his control if he, lo if he loses here. The beak is effectively 12 balls away from victory. And he's been breaking so well, Steve. Oh, he's a bit shy of pace. Oh. He would be better off being harder than softer. We saw him miss a shot with right hand spin before. This is exactly the same shot Reyes can't watch. Babika's got to play this with right hand spin to avoid scratching in the middle pocket. He overcut it last time. Severe pressure. Doesn't look missable. Plays it much better this time. That was an excellent shot. Perhaps it didn't need as much side spin as the last one. Reyes has to pray for a bad break now. And we're involved in another heel heel match involving Efren Reyes. And just like against Tony Crosby, Reyes will sit in his chair while the other guy breaks. It's out of his hands now. Seven apiece. And Radoslav Babitska up next. That's the miss that let the opponent in. And the pole, under great pressure, looked pretty composed in cleaning up. Well, that's one of those uncharacteristic Reyes misses that we saw there. And to follow up with that, it's, it's just not the magician that we know. Even if he wins here, the question has to be asked, what is wrong with this man's game by his standards? 
Well, obviously, on that blue two, we saw too much body movement. Uh, the idea of the game is to keep most of your body as still as possible and just let your right arm do the work. Here's the break. Oh, so important. Nice and brilliant one. Oh, look at this, look at this. Hang on. No, oh, but he's <laughs> you can't believe it, no. can you? Oh. Thank you. You just, just can't believe it. Just <laughs> when you thought he got it all nicely lined up. Cue ball, one ball and eight ball lined up in a way that will just break your heart. Look at that little <laughs> kick. No. Well, thank you. That is the lifeline that Efren Reyes needed. Well, it looks like a pretty simple safety, sending the one ball up and down the table in a straight line trying to plant it in the middle where that chalk is or as close as possible and then snooker behind the nine and the eight that would seem to be a pretty elementary shot it's a bit shy of pace i think oh he might just have got there nope it's not a snooker I, it's a very risky pot if he if he can get past to the outside edge, the left-hand edge, it's still a risky pot to take on. What does he do? The slow safety to the side cushion just before the middle pocket. Well, they always say, don't they, Steve, in this game, the great players are the guys that go out and win the match. You don't win a match by playing safe, but surely here, Hill Hill, caution has got to be the number one factor. Well, firstly, we don't know whether he can actually clip the left-hand edge. I don't think he can, but um, there is a there is the possibility of the long bank just just going past the six, but it's so risky. And with no safety net, why would you take that risk? Well, there may be a, a slight element of safety. Oh, that's a great shot. That oh, is a great oh, shot. Oh, oh. What a shot. What a shot. He had the safety element with the eight ball. There was an element of it. What a great shot. That was never anywhere else. He's got to convert this now. He will, surely. It, it, it's flashes of brilliance like that that just remind you of why this man is, is, is the great exponent of this craft. One thing he's got to do, he's got to keep his body still on the shot. He's got to keep down on the shot. As long as they're ele elementary straight in, I think he'll be OK on that. But keep that body movement down. OK, fair enough. Well, it's been a marvellous effort from Babika to get back in this match. Don't take anything away from him. But I think Reyes is over the line. Well, we thought that against Tony Crosby, didn't we? He had the nine ball in the last rack. Surely that particular lightning's not going to strike twice. <laughs> Caraman lost it for a fraction there, but he's back. And Reyes looks like he's back as well. But only just. Well, they'll go nuts in just a moment. All that pent up energy about to be released. <laughs> that was hard work for the magician, the number two seed here, Efren Reyes. Having been on the wrong end of a Hill Hill match yesterday against Tony Crosby, finally gets it right against Radoslav Babitska. It was nervy stuff. Reyes on the brink of elimination has hung on. 8 7. And is there still time for this man to get his game together and to mount a serious challenge at this year's World Pool Championship? It's not the magician that we know and love, but it's been good enough to get past Radoslav Babitska and to keep himself alive in what's proving a very interesting group too. Roy Apancho and Tony Crosby will meet later. The winner of that match will take control of the group. 
but Reyes definitely now in the mix.